I can tell you this. Look out. November 10th, after the election, a couple days, I'm giving President Trump a chance to get a breather. That's why I said November, November 10th. Look out. Because you know and I know this president, who is the first president in a very, very long time that has possessed something that we haven't seen. It's called leadership. It's called leadership. I talk, I'm going to talk a little bit about that tomorrow morning, not political aspect of it, but talk a little bit about leadership. Um, and listen, he is going to show that leadership loud and clear after the election. If he hasn't shown you anything else, if there is nothing whatsoever you like about this president, you cannot say he doesn't love America. You cannot say he doesn't love the American worker. Oh, you can say it, but you'd be so wrong. But it'd be hard to say. This is a president that cares more about the American worker, the American in general, about the pride of America, about the military might of America, because any peace that we will have is only going to come through the strength of our military. This is a man that makes no bones about it. Unlike our last president, he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to be king of the world. He wants to be president of the United States of America. He has said at G7 meetings, I would expect all of you, at all of you to do the same thing for your respective countries that I care about for America. And if you don't, shame on you. But you should expect the same from me for the people of America that you would want for the people of France or Germany or Japan. We haven't had a president like that in a very long time because he's not a politician. He's a businessman. He's a leader. And these anarchists, have about three more months to try to get their agenda through. Understand, folks, you understand, right? They're extremely well-funded. They have plenty of money. They are relatively well-organized. And police, no police zones? Let me see a show of hands of how many people want to live in a no police zone. I, I mean, it's, it's insanity. Yet we have mayors around the city, around the country, that are cutting $20 million out of their police budget. And guess what the police are doing? They're quitting. They're moving on in the regular course of business with support from their superiors. They're putting their life on the line every single moment. And now they want to have extraordinary events that are going to exacerbate the dangers that they face every day. Come on. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.